I want to talk a little bit about how to get um, visual content into your projects. So most especially things like icons, but even things a little bit like JPEGs and PNGs, sort of drawables. So uh, let's grab uh, grab a basic activity, Android X. Gotta remember to delete. Um, all right, so let Cradle do its thing. And now I wanna do something like add an icon. So let's go down to menu and uh, turn on some previews. And here for settings, you know, if you say icon, it'll say, all right, you know, um, and it'll give you this Android namespace. This Android namespace is tempting and you can sort of take a look at it, but it's hard to rely on. You don't know what these things are going to be like in future versions of Android. So, um, let's see, settings. Is there anything that says sort of like settings? Oh, whatever, let's just say. Oh, yeah, see. Um, so uh, even though these things look kind of okay, I, I don't recommend uh, using the Android namespace because you don't have control over it. So we want an icon and uh, where are we gonna get one? Well, we're gonna go over to drawable. We're going to control, oops. Uh, we're gonna, sorry, we're gonna right click on drawable. New vector asset and vector assets are awesome because they scale up and down and they still look great. So if you can use vector, use vector. Um, uh, actually, clip art is uh, fine. And and here's the interface issue. I literally programmed Android for a year before I realized that if you click on clip art, it opens up a, a selection uh, menu, which really makes no sense. So we type in settings. And let's see, can we get, that's, here we go. That looks like settings. So, so I see settings something, and then we come in here and we say, uh, drawable, I see settings black, looks good. And uh, put a, a close quote, and it even gives you a little picture of this icon here. And if we say show as action, always, then, oh my gosh, we have an icon in the toolbar, right? Cool. So uh, let's do one more, uh, just for the heck of it. Um, so come into drawable, give me a new, and uh, image assets uh, allow you to do things like, ooh, <laughs> I've lost my mind. So yeah, you you need to be dismissed, and you need to come back. Uh, Im image assets allow you to do icons, um, and and uh, gives you a little bit of control over the images. But for images, I find it better if you really want to use something, just copy it in from uh, the outside world. So. In this case, sorry, I'm kind of going off on images here now, but uh, let's see if we want to um, go to um, delete two, and we can copy. JPEG and a PNG into app source main res drawable. Okay, so that was off screen, but um, you see here it, it picked it up. That's the PNG, that's the JPEG. What's the difference? PNG has support for. Um, 
has support for transparency. Uh, JPEG does not. I got this JPEG off the web, I cropped it, and then I ran a convert script from Image Magic. Uh, it's a command line utility called Convert, and you can make the white color transparent. It does sort of an okay job. And now, uh, so let's go back to our main menu and uh, our icon. And you know, we were going to do another, we we're going to do another icon, but let's do, let's do something crazy and choose this. We'll choose, we'll choose the uh, JPEG. Okay, now it doesn't render. Um, and let's see if we say show as an action. Always, yeah. Look at that. That's a it's the picture of the pick. That's actually pretty cool. Right? This is the actual picture of the pick, and it shows up here as an icon. We just threw it in there. Okay, um, and that item. And is that all I really want to say? Yes, there are a, a couple of other drawables that can go in here like custom XML. We'll do a little bit of that in class, but don't worry about it so much. Just so you know, colors are down here in the values. This gives you a number, but at any point you can just say, um, let's see, uh, let's go to, let's go in here and let's say our, let's do text size, bigger it's like 56 SP okay and background color and so it's gonna prompt you and you know you can do absolutely something from the color namespace color accent okay but you can also just get in here and start saying you know what uh, let's see FF 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 uh, that's no alpha channel that's white uh, this is RGB RGB hex codes, all zeros is black, you know, um, all D's sort of a light gray, uh, you know, if you want red, um, uh, see, is that it? So that's sort of, sort of a medium red. This is a very saturated red. Anyway, you can you can type in uh, colors in your XML that way and get things pretty easily. Um, okay.